Hello, this screencast tutorial will show you how to install FDS and SmokeView version 6 on Windows 7. So the first thing I want to do is get to the primary website for the FDS and SmokeView. And on this site, you'll see a download link, the green button here. I'm going to click that. And to install FDS and SmokeView version 6, which are currently in beta release, I'm going to click the complete list of downloads. After FDS 6 has been officially released, you'll be able to download it using these green buttons here. So if I go to the list of downloads, you'll see at the top of this page uh, various links for FDS 6 Release Candidate 1. And you'll see a couple of links here, one for the 32-bit Windows FDS 6 and the 64-bit Windows FDS 6. The machine I'm running is 64-bit, so I'll click the 64-bit Windows download. On the download page, I'm going to click this executable file, and I'm going to click the Save button to save it to my hard drive. And after that's finished downloading, um, you'll see a, a warning here. I'm going to close that out. So now I'll be able to get to the FDS6 installation file. If I click the Start menu and Computer. Uh, here you should see a link for the downloads folder. In this folder I'll see the FDS 6 installation package that I just downloaded. So if I double click this link I will click yes and here I have uh, FDS 6 is going to install to the program files FDS, FDS 6 folder. I'll leave the other options as they are and click the unzip button. So there's a success message. I'll click OK. And it's going to run a few uh, post-installation scripts. And now I can press uh, any key to complete the installation. Now at this point, you're going to need to reboot your Windows machine so that your FDS and SmokeView shortcuts will work. So please reboot your Windows machine and come back to this video otherwise the shortcuts will not work. So assuming you've rebooted we will continue running FDS so we've installed FDS and SmokeView and now we want to look at the installation files and we'll also run an uh, example FDS file. So I click the start menu and all programs scroll down I have an item here for FDS 6. If I click that, I have an overview link, um, some links to the website, discussion group, issue tracker, and so on. And also have links to the user guide and technical guide for FDS and SmokeView, as well as the release notes. So these are all uh, additional information that you can view related to FDS. But I want to go ahead and click the computer button I want to go to the location where the FDS files were installed. So if I click, double click on the C directory and program files, FDS, there's FDS 6. If you have FDS 5, you'll also see it installed alongside here. I want to double click FDS 6. And there's a few directories here. The bin folder contains programs, FDS, SmokeView, other utilities. If I go back, there's the documentation I was looking at earlier in the Start menu. And in the Examples folder, I have Controls, Fires, uh, HVAC, Pyrolysis, Species, and so on. These are various examples you can run uh, in FDS. So what I'm going to do now is open up the Command window. To do this, I'm going to click the Start menu, type CMD for Command and you'll see the command program popped up here and if I click on that I will be in my home directory so from here I can verify that FDS and SmokeView were installed correctly by typing FDS pressing enter and I'll see the version printed here FDS release candidate 1 here's the SVN revision number so if I press enter I'll exit that I can also type SmokeView press enter and the SmokeView version number will print here and also it's opening up a window so I can open a SmokeView case but I'm going to close that out for now. 
I just want to make sure that FDS and Smoke View were installed correctly. So they appear to be working and the shortcuts are working and you can type FDS and Smoke View from anywhere. Now what I want to do is to run one of the example cases. So in Windows, uh, there are some security settings that prevent you from running command line programs within the program files directory. So what I'm going to do is copy one of the example folders onto the desktop, which is in my home directory, and run the case from there. If I try to run it from examples here, I'll get an error and uh, some security settings will prevent me from running FDS. So I'm going to go in the examples folder and the controls folder and I want to run the activate events FDS input file. So what I'm going to do now, uh, just to keep things organized, I'm going to right click on the desktop, go to new folder, and you can name this folder whatever you like. I'll call it activate events. And so now I have a new folder on the desktop and I want to copy this activate events input file into the new folder I just created. So I'm going to click and drag and if I hold down the control key you'll see that I have a copy option otherwise it's going to move the file. I just want to copy the file. So I'm going to release the mouse. Now if I double click this activate vents I now have an activate vents input file inside of an activate vents folder on my desktop. So now going back to the command window, uh, if you open the command window with start cmd and open it, you'll get a new window. Um, I already have one open here and it's going to open in users and your account name. So I'm going to use the cd command, this stands for change directory, space, and I'm going to type desktop. D-E-S-K-T-O-P. And now I'm in the desktop folder. If I type D-I-R for a directory listing, I can see there's an activate events folder here. So if I type CD space activate events, there's a little shortcut you can use here. If you type the first few letters of the folder and then hit the tab key, it'll complete the rest of the name for you. Now I can press the enter key. And if I type D-I-R, enter. I see that there is one file in there, the activate vents.fds input file. At this point I can type fds space act and again if I type the if I hit the tab key it'll complete that file for me. So the command is fds space and the name of the input file. Now if I press enter fds will run that input file and when it's done, I'll get a message like this. FDS completed successfully. Now if I type DIR to get a directory listing, press enter, I'll see that it's created some output files. So at this point, I have a FDS input file, I have a CSV file, uh, and the smoke view file. At this point, I could type smoke view, activate vents, with no extension and at this point it will open smoke view and there's my case so I can right click in the smoke view window click load particle file particles and there's the activate vents case running in smoke view I can close this out another way to run smoke view is if I open the activate vents folder I see all the output files and I notice there is a smoke view file here and if I double click on that I'll also get smoke view to open and I can load particle files and look at the results again here. So just to review uh, there are a couple of ways to open smoke view but to run the file I actually need to open the command window. So. Let me close everything out here. So again, just to reiterate, if I have the activate events folder here with the input file, I can go to the start menu, type CMD and the enter key, CD, 
desktop CD activate vents. From here, I can type FDS activate vents dot FDS because I want to run the FDS input file. Press enter, it'll run the case. And again, I have a couple of options here. I can either run smoke view in the command line by typing smoke view activate vents dot sorry activate vents with no extension press enter there's the case or after the case is run or even while it's running I can double click the smoke view file this is activate vents dot smv and it will open up in smoke view so we installed FDS in SmokeView version 6 on Windows 7, copied over an example case to the desktop, ran it in FDS, and viewed the results in SmokeView. Again, be sure to reboot after you install FDS, otherwise the FDS in SmokeView commands might not work for you. If you have any questions, please post them to the discussion group. And thanks for watching.